Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season 7, episode 15 called Training Day. So we start off with um, Team Arrows training with the police and it's kind of not that great. So they have to, uh, so SCPD wants them to be ethical on how to do things and not how they've been doing stuff. Then we got to where the mayor's being a little testy and a little rude and being a complete B, basically. <laughs> and basically, they're on a provisional basis on everything. So if it doesn't work out, they're done, period. Then we have the Alicity moment, and basically she tells Oliver that she doesn't um, want to tell anyone about the baby for right now, because first it's still early, and second... She wants to raise the baby in a safe place. <clears throat> so, um, and he agrees with that. Then we have a flash forward scene where William and Mia try to find a mini cassette player. Um, so they go off on their, own way, on their own ways. Mia tells William to stay put, but he, of course, doesn't. And sees a player, and the guy wants a thousand for it, and he gets it down to 600. And then we cut to the present day where the guy um, also won with like some weird weapon which disintegrates the body basically and looks weird. And then we cut to where the police are briefed about that along with Team Arrow. Then we go to a flash forward scene where um, a girl basically retook the cassette player and gave it back to the guy that was selling it in the first place. And um, Mia gets really mad about it and the guy threatened to call the SCPD, so they leave. And then we cut to the present day where someone called Laurel from prison, and we find out that it was Bronze Tiger that did it. And tells Laurel about Diaz and that he actually saw what happened and tells him tells her to hurry up and get him out of jail. Uh, she says, I'm doing everything we can, and she says, well, okay, I'll tell you who did it when if you let me see my son. And so she's like, I'll see what I can do. And so we cut to the police, got a tip. And then we cut on Pollard. It's making them use police attire and weapons and not their stuff. So that's not great. And so the, they're at the location. And that's just one huge fail. So first of all, Oliver destroyed the evidence when the people were getting away. But, um, but Dinah couldn't use her cry. So they escaped, and the whole coordination was off as well, so it just wasn't working. So the police get mad at Team Eric because they have different views. Then we find that we find that James Midas is behind it because of the name drop at the scene. <clears throat> so Oliver gets really mad at all the red tape that they had to go through. Then we have Dina and Renee are um, going through files that are manual. <laughs> and basically they talk and basically if this partnership doesn't work out, she loses her job. And then she got a call and she's got a warrant to go through Midas' house and try to find evidence. But Oliver corners Midas himself and he confesses and arrested him. And so the mayor apologizes to Midas because he was uh, has very deep pockets and that's always given to the police. And it's mad at Oliver and also with Dina because <laughs> of the whole thing. Then we got to where Laurel made good on her deal. So she brought her um, Bronze Tiger son to see him. And we find out that um, the um, Bronze um, Tiger called him Hawk. And he said basically it was someone in a green suit that was not Oliver Queen that did it. So she already knows it's Emiko that did that. Then we cut to Renee, talks to Dinah, and makes her see what's right and makes her like gives her like a pep up conversation. And then we cut to where Felicity um, has the base redone and or the layer, whatever. And <laughs> tells Diggle about the baby, and so he's super excited for them. And then we cut to where he tells them um, to compromise and not go off and do their own thing like they usually do when something doesn't really go their way. Way. And then we cut to a flash forward scene where Will and Mia talk and strategize a plan, and they manage to get the player back. 
Then we cut to the present day where Oliver apologizes to Dinah and got a compromise, you know, to, with the SCPD. And so they often go to the warehouse where Midas is at because of Felicity tracking the location of his DNA because he had a arrest record like 10 years ago or something. So they go to the location and have a really cool fight scene and so it was nice having the SCPD and Team Arrow working together on that. So that was pretty cool. And then we cut to where Dina made the mayor uh, fold and basically she's going to repeal the vigilante thing and she's going to make their job secure with the SCPD. And Dickel talks to Felicity and gives her like some food to help her not be nauseous and um, tells her she's on to something big with the security system. Then we go to where Laurel and Amiko talk and they basically call each other out. <laughs> So that's kind of like at a standstill. And then we have a listening moment where we discuss baby names and the name Mia comes up. Like Mora Queen and like abbreviation of that and Felicity really likes that name. Then we have a flash forward scene where they play the tape and basically gets coordinates and says do not look for her. And so they go anyway to try to find her and they're going into the glades. And that's in the episode. Um, I really like this episode. I'm going to give this a... Mm, I'll give this a minus because we get a lot of backstory and everything. So I really do appreciate that. I thought it was really good. Um, the fight scenes were great. And we got to see the dynamic between the police and Team Arrow. And how they differ. And how they act. <laughs> accordingly. Because the first Oliver was very good about it. And then he was like, no, no. This is not working. <laughs> But um, I really do like this, and um, I'm very interested to see where the flash forward scenes come through. So I'm very excited for that, and that's going to be in the next episode. So that's going to be awesome. So anyway, I'll see you on the next video, and I hope you all have a super awesome day. And don't forget to comment down below, tell me what you think, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.